what God is telling us to do. All the problems that, that man experiences is because we follow in the wrong direction. We follow after our desires, we follow after temptations, we follow after so many different things. We run towards something that we think is going to give us freedom and we end up running away from God. <laughs> This is like uh, drug central over here in Tel Aviv, Israel. This is the Holy Land, if, if, if I have to spell it out for you, right? But a Holy Land that, that has been corrupted by this age, by the enemy, by drugs, by problems, by prostitution, by all kinds of, of, of dirt. People that just, just refuse to see the hand of God and the, and the timing of God. You see all kinds of people walking around and, kinds of problems that they're dragging behind them and I have to say that no life is different from these lives every life is is surrounded by trouble and, there, and and there's there's difficulty in every life and there's problems and there's there's weakness and, and we fall prey to all kinds of things you and I we fall prey to our own weaknesses and that's why we're here to realize that and to to work against that. But there's something that we have to understand. Nothing can be changed in our lives unless the, the, the power of God changes it. We can try, we can become better, we can try harder, we can do more, we can uh, put more effort into it, we can, we can do all these things, but none of that matters unless our heart is filled with the peace of God. God's peace has to be in our heart in order for anything else to make sense. This is like the heart, the dirty, rotten heart of Drug Central. It is scary to see how numb these people's hearts are. It's sad to um, to call this a life. 
this existence, this, this being in the flesh and poisoning the flesh at the same time. But like I said before, our lives a lot of times are not very different. Our lives a lot of times are filled with different poisons as well. And we knowingly do that and we understand the problems and we understand the, that it will bring harm and it will bring pain and we still do it. This guy was just telling me that that he knows that he's in trouble. He knows how much harm he's doing to his life and he knows that he doesn't have much time left. And yet he says 100% he will find help even though it's not today. If it's not today, it's never 100%. You know that, right? Even he knows that. So whatever help you need right now, whatever motivation you need today, is today. It's never gonna be 100% anytime in the future. Not tomorrow, not the day after. The help that you need, you need it today. However big or small the problem is, you need to start today. Быть ему уверенным, не употреблять наркотики. Это даже не на наркотики, это даже не то, что потреблять, если будешь уверенным в Богу. You see some horrible things, somebody just threw an apple at me. Oh, thank God it was a bad shot, because it could have hurt. I don't think I'll stay here for long. Here's a question, a real question. Here's real talk for you. How do you stop doing what you know is wrong? How does the, how does anybody here on this street overcome their troubles, their addiction, their, the evil that is in their heart. Easy. The simple answer is they can't. The simple answer is you and I cannot overcome our weaknesses. These guys are screaming at me now. Okay? You gotta understand there's nothing that you can do to change your situation. You cannot change yourself. Only the power of God can change you. Only the peace of God in your heart can give you freedom. There's no freedom in this world unless it comes from God.